We're recording. Okay. And there's Erin getting her new haircut. <laughs> so, welcome to our March board meeting and welcome to our new board members, Barbara Paul and Eve Waters. Um, we appreciate you stepping up, helping us out on the board. Um, one of the things that we're brainstorming on is coming up with expectations and kind of a guide for board members. So we will touch base with each person individually on that. So you can be expecting that. There'll be little Zoom meetings, like 15 minute Zoom meetings. Um, once, once we get all the, the things pointed out that we need. Um, the other aspect of that is for you to let us know what you think a board member should be doing and what you can bring to the table because all of our ideas are just ours. We need other people's input as well. And that goes for everybody. We're gonna meet with each board member um, and see what you can offer. What, like the seasoned board members, what do you think so far? What have you learned? What can we do different? So be thinking about that and we will plan that for early April. Okay, good. I know who's missing, Ellen. Yeah, I know they're ten. Thank you. <laughs> I I'm going to uh, send her a text. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's getting ready to take off tomorrow, so yeah, she might just go back in time. Yes, me too. I'm going to the beach for the rest of the week. <laughs> oh, good. So um, uh, <laughs> which which beach? Topsail. Where is that? North Carolina. <coughs> North Carolina. Okay. Hadn't been there before. Um, so we were looking for some place none of us had been before. And that's <laughs> where it ended up being. How so long will you be gone? Just the rest of the week. But the, the glory of it is it's a girl's trip. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my sister and her daughter and me and my daughter. Great. So yeah, it'll be a great time, I'm sure. So do you want to move on or do you want to move Oh, yeah. On? Uh, my guess okay. is that she's probably so, too busy. Financials, Barbara. Yes. Does anybody have any questions on the financials? A couple of you have never seen these. As um, Etta pointed out, the heading is wrong. It says January, but the, the, what I distributed was, in fact, February. Um, all I can tell you, I mean, we are behind last year, year to date. Um, so let's hope sales pick up is all I can say. I do hope it's, it's been really slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just has. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So and then you'll have a great day like Jackson and whoever was working with them and they make, they got over a thousand dollars. So that was Amen. good. That was great. May we have more? Yes. <laughs> we uh, will. We just will. So okay, Barb so, and Eve, if you need, want to talk to me separately about how we do the financials, we can do that offline. Or if you're familiar with them, that's great. I just don't want you to feel like you're behind the power curve. They're, no, thank you. they're pretty simple to read, but you might need just 15 minutes with me. And we can do that. Just reach out to me if you want to do that. Okay. It took me about a year in. to figure it out. I'll check in with Eve, we couldn't understand what you said. I said I'll check in with my resident CPA. Okay. Maybe that'll handle it. Okay. Great. Oh, good. Great. Okay, so I was going to let um, Ellen talk about the new member. Um, but Barbara, you and Sarah met with him, Christopher mm -hmm. Smith. Do you want to um, just enlighten everyone a little bit? Yeah, he, he is. Sarah, jump in. I'll start and you jump in. He, his name is Christopher Smith. He does the most beautiful weaving, so meticulous, beautifully finished, um, extraordinarily competent. Um, and as you might imagine, his prices are high. But I don't think that selling is his uh, big motivation. 
I'm not sure why he wanted to be with us, Sarah. Do you know? Uh, I think he just wanted to be out his work out. He sells at the Stanton Augusta Art Center. Um, and he's on the board of directors of that. And he's also, he learned to weave and was the weaver for the Frontier Culture Museum in the Irish settlement for a number of years. And he's kind of retired from that and got his own loom and is doing his own double shot, you know, two, two with two uh, things. Shuttles. Right. Uh, shuttles. shuttles one time with, you know, not just a simple patterns, really complex, uh, you know, coverlet patterns. And, and so, you know, people that really know weaving know that it's very time consuming. I, I, I asked him how many threads per inch he had and it was like 40 or something like that, 30 or 40 threads per inch. So you can imagine how, much, how long it takes him to, to, you know, set the loom up just with that, and most of his pieces are runners and they're about uh, 12 to 16 inches wide, something like that. And but how old is he? Uh, I'd say he's in his 70s. I'd say, you know, 70s uh, is my guess since he's retired from doing, you know, most things and, but yeah. he's, 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 he's um, very well connected in Stanton and, uh, has you know knows a lot of the people through the the organizations there so you know it's a it's a, a good connection uh, plus he's a he's a very good craftsman and i hope we can sell his work we we talked to him some about maybe having some lower price point things um and he and that's when he said he wasn't that concerned about selling you know and was just wanted to make basically, I think, wants to make what he wants to make if it sells okay. Uh, I think all right. he uh, sent me a note after I sent out the new member thing to all the people who get involved. And he said, I'm really, um, hold on, I need to, Brenda wants to join, so I needed to tell her that. Um, he he i think he wants the companionship or um to work right. with artists so that's the impression i had so wonderful um we need to welcome him and all that jazz like we normally do he, he said he's not going to be able to do a lot of work other you know coming to harrisonburg a lot because you know he's got a lot of other obligations on the board and he volunteers every Wednesday at one of the places there in Stanton, um, I guess the Art Center. And Is he so, full time then? So yeah. he's full time, he's gonna work two days, but he wants to work weekdays, not weekends. So that- that get on early. With the, I told him, you know, to, about to, if there's some days he has to be on the, to get in touch with you, Natalie. So we'll see, but he, what day is he training on the 19th or something like that, I think? It's this Friday, I think. Okay, this Friday, all right, yeah. that's the 19th. But uh, so, and Ellen's going to bring in her daughter's antique uh, ladder, orchard ladder to help display his things. Cause he brought in something, but it was kind of low and it would be kind of- It's also high. too big and it's brown and it's ugly. Yeah, so. And kind of wobbly. I mean, the orchard ladder is just gonna be natural wood, but it's aged and, you know, an antique. We can't do anything to it, but we can borrow it to use. So I think his things would look nice on it and it would get them up higher than they are now. So that's, uh, that's it I, that I've got on him right now. He's a real gentleman, I'll say that. Yes, yes, I liked him. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and has worked a lot with volunteer organizations. So I think oh, yes. Oh. That, I was looking at his application, trying to see what he thought he could help us with. He understands legacy fundraising. And that has been a goal of mine. Of course, I don't know how to do it. But um, 
hold, let me let Brenda in. That I, legacy fundraising, I feel, is the thing that we have to start doing. We might not see anything for 10 years, but we need to do it because our demographic is starting to die out. So it sounds ghastly, but we really do need <laughs> in their wills. So please don't put that in the minutes. Uh, well, and we've had like Dr. Theodore left us what eighteen thousand or something like that, somewhere around that. Yeah. When she away, so you know, it's not we have had people leave us things before. So anyway, I think I think that he might not do regular tasks, but the legacy funding thing is a long term strategy that we really need to get involved in. So that's my thought, anyway. Okay. Brenda? Hi, Brenda. Welcome. Hi, Brenda. Brenda. Hi, everybody. Hey, Brenda. Hi. So next up is calendar issues. Um, we look really good for April. We're full. All the days are covered. Everybody has a day. Um, for May, we will actually have extra people unless we're going to be open, you know, later. But we're just going to have to see if people start showing up downtown in the evenings. And if they do, then we'll talk about adding another shift on Fridays, but haven't seen it yet. I, you know, it didn't look too bad Friday last week when or uh, this past week when it was warm there looked like there were a few more people coming out late in the uh, in your shift later in the afternoon yeah they didn't necessarily come in but they were wandering around and with the daylight savings time now there's possibility that as the weather gets warmer, maybe in May. Yeah, and the restaurants are- We might yeah. think about Fridays. Yeah, what are restaurants up to? Are they still at 50% or? I think so. But I, I noticed Jack Brown's opened up into the parking lot again. So yeah, there's yeah. their push to be out. And I think I think we're going to have a little bit of a curve that as the days get nicer, people might necessarily want to be downtown during the day when it's so pretty. They're going to be in their yards and out, you know, or maybe that's just me, but maybe towards the evening, they'll be thinking about going downtown for dinner and those type of things. I think you're right, Barb. Um, of course, we can't look back at last May, wouldn't help us, but Oh, we were closed. Yeah, but the May before that, I could look and see if um, we got late night shopping, anything after five o'clock. I'll do that. I wouldn't maybe um, think about weeknights yet, but mm -hmm. Fridays, definitely we might think about it. Maybe even just seven. Okay, well, let's see what Barbara comes up with and then we'll. I don't think we can even go by the year before because we're only halfway there yet. Yeah. I was gonna look at May. That's what I mean. But she means like two years ago. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean yeah. though. I think we're only halfway there yet. Oh, halfway in the COVID thing. Into the COVID. Yeah. We're only, we're only halfway open yet, even yeah. if people are getting vaccinated. Yeah. They're not quite ready to crawl out yet. Yeah, well, let's hope they start soon. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah, you know, know, Sally, but you know, it's not gonna happen all at once. Well, we, we'll we'll figure out what we're going to do. We have to try something. Hopefully it'll get better. And I think, yeah. and, I'll, and I'll say from people I know, you know, when the spouse wasn't vaccinated, when like one spouse was vaccinated, but the other wasn't, 
they were still being uber cautious about going out because their spouse at home wasn't vaccinated yet. So I do think as more and more people get vaccinated and everyone in the household gets vaccinated, you know, the adults do, it'll, people will feel a little bit more comfortable getting out. I don't know what the ratio is for people under like 65 yet though. It's yeah. getting there. Yeah, they're getting them now. There's an I have abundance. mine. There's an abundance out there. You right baby, now. you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll we'll work on that. Anyway, you'll know when the calendar comes out what shifts we have. So, but we'll be in good shape either way. We'll have plenty of docents to fill the slots. Um, and then the other thing I was going to talk about was Shopify. I will do another one of those Facebook marketing since I canceled. I, I weaned out of the March one. Sally was sick and it, it just seemed like it wasn't going in the right direction. And I thought, well, maybe we need to hold off another month until things get a little better and more vaccinations are out there before we start sitting in close quarters. So um, that's targeted for the end of April and the people that were already signed up will get first dibs on that. But, you know, I can add two people to each class, and do two classes in a day. Um, Cause I, I think we really need to do that. We really need to get it out there. I worked with Barheer a little bit on that. Um, not too much happened, but, <laughs> but we're getting there. We're working on it. I think for the time being, if we just edit his posts, if he'll let us. And add. Add the Shopify okay. link. Okay. Maybe that's the way yeah. to do it. Because he posts. I mean, he, he posts right. every day. Well, I think that you're probably onto something there. So if we can just copy his link and give it to him and say, add this to all your posts, he probably will. I'll do that. I'll, I'll send him it. Okay. All right. And I'll see if I can get a few more of his paintings up there. It took me so long to get his paintings up. Why? The internet oh. was awful. I Does anybody else have an issue with the internet at Oasis? Yes. No. Oh, yes you? So I usually use my personal hotspot. Um, yeah, I do too. I couldn't yeah, I, open the pictures for the longest time. I could not open the pictures. It was just really aggravating. And then I come home and they're all right there. So anyway, that's, that's a that's regular occurrence in my bit. world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wait and wait and wait for pictures to download. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it wasn't easy, but anyway, it's, it's okay. I've got some up there and he can use the link and that'll get people there. Does anybody else have anything? Any questions, comments about Shopify? Anybody no, want just to have to learn how to do it. And some more things. I just put four things, sent four things to hey. Anna. Thank the, you, the Barbara. Thank I you. I just need to take pictures. Yes, please do. And it really, really helps if you take more than one picture. Like if you take one picture that's just far away, you take one picture that's a close up, you take one picture, I have one that I take against a ruler. People wanna see it in different lights from different angles. They don't want just, they don't wanna buy a pig and a poke. So they don't wanna buy just something where there's just one shot and that's the only thing they can see it. They wanna see it in use. They wanna see it on. Um, I know that, from app that applies to jewelry, but like with my glass, what would you suggest? I would do more than one picture. I would do it from different angles. I would put it in uh, hanging in a window. I would do it in a stand. You know, if you can just right. do it a even, process picture. Yeah, mm -hmm. it even works for like, like 2D because, you know, they may want to see the detail of a canvas. What's the side of it look like? Is the back of it, you know, solid? Um, you know, what does it look like in, you know, size wise and proportion on a wall with a couch under it or- How are you, you hanging? Know. How long is the hanger? 
is how long yeah. is the chain? How, I'm not saying you have to do that for every single thing, but you know, if you are able to show a little bit more detail, the more you can, so that someone can picture it in, in use, that just is helpful. And next, for the glass things next to something recognizable so they have a very clear picture of the size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always put the dimensions. Yes. That doesn't, people are weird. They can't visualize it. And so I've seen so many people complain, like you put the dimensions and then they'll say, it's smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, <laughs> put mine next to yes. my jewelry a lot of times next to a coin. Right. So those are all excellent tips. Um, the more, just, just remember, the more you can provide, the more information you can provide, the better opportunity you're going to have to sell right. your so Natalie, on Shopify, right now, each item only has one image. Is there a way to put more than one image? Oh, yeah. For a lot of, lot of um, pieces on Shopify have more than one image. Do they? Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, if you, so if you could tell us... really good about sending more than one image. Okay, okay. So if you click on the item, like you're going to want to look at it closer, you're going to see the other images mm -hmm. and the description. Okay. Yep. And if you can talk up your description, like we are saying in a story, like, oh, these are the perfect earrings to pop on to wear to the farmer's market on Saturday because they'll go with your jeans and t-shirt. You know, the, the thing, you know, with the glass, you know, it's how to brighten up your room or how to, you know, give yourself a smile when you walk into the room and see the sun shining through your very own stained glass panel, you know. I can hire you, huh? Yeah, I mean, I want to hire a friend of mine to do it for me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, you know how easy it is to clean up somebody else's house rather than your own? Yeah. Maybe we should all swap writing our other people's copy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The trick is to get them up there first. Yes. Yes. Send them, bombard me, and then I'll task them off to someone else. <laughs> All right. Um, Barb, do you have anything else to share about social media? Did you want to talk a little bit about what's going on? on social media, for those of you who aren't on the marketing committee, we've been working on uh, with March with Restaurant Week downtown. So we've been doing just a fun thing. Barbara went out and walked and walked her, her, uh, her steps and walked how many steps it is from each restaurant downtown to Oasis. So we're trying to get people to think about coming in. So while they're waiting for their table, you know, it's only 150 steps, walk on down. So just a little fun that we've had with that. Um, so that's the thing we've been focusing in on March. We're gonna be doing the shop hop with Easter coming up with the, the distribution of eggs and um, marketing with that. And also um, I talked a little bit about trying to highlight the work, your work if it's on Shopify. So if you sent something to Shopify, I will highlight it on Instagram and Facebook. So I can do a little blurb like I've done before, sort of a meet the maker and your product and do a little highlight, but it has to be on Shopify for us to highlight you special on Instagram, Facebook. Um, right, that sounds like more motivation to me. Yeah, yeah it does to me too. And, and the, the thing we came up with today for the Easter egg hunt, you want to describe that, Joanna's idea? Uh, Joanna had a wonderful idea. So the Easter egg hunt is mostly geared towards kids coming around and gathering eggs from the different shops. And I'll have a little, uh, you know, kid item inside the egg. But we're going to take the small stickers that Joanna made for the 20th anniversary, I think are the ones. And we're going to put them on the plastic eggs. And then we're going to advertise that if you bring your Oasis egg back to Oasis, you can get 10% off your next purchase during the month of April. So we don't really want all the kids in the shop during the shop hop day, but we want their parents to come back and do some shopping um, later and try to get people who haven't really been to Oasis to come back and, and see us. And I think the experience from before, like I think what I've heard from the chocolate walk and things is that often even during those type of activities, people get their cookies or whatever and then 
just leave. They don't just leave. Yeah. Right. They're, they're not motivated, nor do we want a bunch of kids in Oasis. So I, I, I think that, you know, the docents will hand out eggs individually. So there aren't a bunch of hands grabbing into the egg basket. Right. But we um, we do but think it's valuable for people to see what the place is like. Every every chance to get more people to to have an exposure to Oasis is thought to be worthwhile. Well, I think we can do this in a number of ways. First of all, I'm going to encourage the docents of that day to wear bunny bunny ears. <laughs> so we're 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 radiating fun. Then our windows also, you know, people are going to be going by both windows. So the windows will, will depict who we are and the image we want. Um, honestly, you do not want it, those kids, they're, it, they'll be out of control, believe me. We, who, who worked with me on, on uh, Sarah and Sally? We worked on, on uh, Skeleton Fest, uh, giving out candy. Those kids were out of control. You do <laughs> not want them in the shop. You're high. You just want their parents to know where we are and how right. fun we are. Yep. Um, will we need an extra person on that day? Well, we have 300 eggs to give out in two times frames and it's Joanna and Gemma are the docents. I said I'd go in early um, and I can hang around if I'm needed. Okay. What, which, which day is it? The third, April 3rd. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, Brenda, did you have anything that we need to discuss about um, your new title? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so it takes about nine months to gestate a human, right? Yeah. And in nine months, we'll be stepping into 2022. And as you know, it takes us a while to get our act together. No, that, I didn't mean that. Get a, our products, our pieces ready for show. So I, I'm right ready to put out the call for feature, featured artists for 2022. And the plan is, I think as usual, to offer it to Oasis members to come up with um, ideas, um, and then submit them. So I can, I can probably do, do most of that myself. I will keep the board informed as that progresses. Then once we have um, all OASIS members who have claimed any months that they want, I'll start filling in um, vacant months with other people outside Oasis, which is what we do. And I already have some ideas for that, um, but I'll just wait to see what comes in from Oasis members. Um, does, does all the anybody? board know that Brenda has taken on this uh, big job for us, volunteered for it? Does everybody know the, her job that she's taken on? No, it's I'd called, like to hear no. about it. It's called show coordinator. Mm -hmm. Brenda, Brenda has stepped up and is doing a marvelous job. It's, and you tell them what you're doing, Brenda. Well, um, I was already coordinating the Water Street window area and that for the rest of the year needs just very little attention and maintenance. It's, it's just a matter of coordinating the installation and of, of the new show. Well, I mean, I gotta get that the other way around. Taking out the present show and installing the next show and um, coordinating with whoever's going in with publicity stuff. So, you know, that's, I'm kind of on autopilot with that because I've just done, done it for so many years. So um, we added in the layer of the featured artist show coordinator, which is the show on the mezzanine. 
And I think um, 2021 was already in pretty good shape. Everything was pretty much in place. So it's just a matter of, again, doing a little maintenance each month. Um, let's see. Uh, Jilly took the coordinator for April and curator, uh, curator, curator, yeah, curator. Um, but that's pretty much. That's pretty much. Uh, uh, I'm hearing an echo. I'm sorry. So, um, I, I think unless anybody has any questions, my report would be finished. I try to make. I try not to make it too complicated. <laughs> I did have a couple of ideas while I was doing something else yesterday um, for shows. Um, Do you just want to shoot those to me and then I'll, I'll take everything in and, and uh, put it in the hopper and see what comes out? Yeah, we don't necessarily need to do them next year, but sometime. Okay, thanks, Jilly. Those are, that's what we're, that's what I'm looking for is um, just lots of great ideas. And Brenda, if you get me information about the artist or tell the artist who is in the Water Street window to get me photos, I can do a Instagram posting, Facebook posting about what's going up to create more interest in the Water Street window. Okay. Just I, have, um, I have pictures of Jackson's work. I'll shoot you tonight. Okay. That'd be perfect. I didn't want to overwhelm you because you know, but here should get the biggest attention, but I'll, right. send, you, I'll sure. send you Jackson's picture. And it, yeah, it doesn't have to be done at the same time. Like the, the monthly show can be done right at the end of April in the first week of March and get the most attention for that. And then maybe just mm -hmm. to remind people because that there's something new going on in the water street window. Um, and I will say, I will put this out there to everyone. I, I always try to have good intentions, but I am forgetful. And so if you have sent me something um, as I'm offering to say, I'll put it up on social media and you don't see it, um, just say, Barbara, <laughs> didn't I send you that? Um, because sometimes it gets lost in my email. We're all there. It's okay. We'll do. <laughs> okay. Close my okay. If there's no other questions, like to just leave the meeting and um, before you go, I just want to say thank you, Brenda, for taking on this job. You are doing a spectacular job. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank yes, you. thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Yeah, I did it for so long before, so it's just uh, it's fine. Um, I might also note uh, you remember when we had Charlie Tibbetts work in I think February. We, we documented things. We made sure everything was in square. We got some good pictures. My personal plan for that is to target specific um, possible people who might be interested. For example, the Page County Memorial. Okay, who's going to be interested in that, in that except some certain small amount of people? And so my plan is just maybe on the days that I work, if I can get the internet to work fast enough, I'll try to just reach out to um, specific places. One is what, Onstead, Scotland or something? I mean, what? <laughs> How are we gonna market that daggone thing? So <laughs> I'm just gonna try to hopefully clear out some of those that way. <laughs> Maybe we should also put them in Shopify. That's a way if you do reach to, to yeah. those far away places, you can say, go on Shopify. Yep, on and order. Well, you know, there's some that are general, like three yellow trees is beautiful, but it, it's just not displayed in the gallery, but Shopify is an awesome idea. Um, I took pictures of all of them. But I'm not sure how good that is. Um, if you want me to submit those to you, Natalie, and see what you can do with them. If they're not, if they don't work, we'll keep on till we get some good stuff. Natalie, you're so busy. Would you like them to submit to Anna? That would work as well. Okay. A lot okay. Of times if I get a bunch of stuff, I just send it on to Anna. Okay, we'll do. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, so. Um, I want to follow up real quick on Mike and Roger's status. Mike said he was 
good to go for the first Sunday in April. And Roger worked today. So, I saw Mike the other day. He looks pretty darn good. He feels good. He was disappointed that we didn't have that class. And he was one of them that I was concerned about coming out. So um, I'm glad. I'm glad that he's doing so well. Great. What is the background about Roger? I talked to Roger and he says he's what's, But what's the story? Oh, he's got a thousand things wrong with him and he's having a gazillion time. Oh. And he's, one day he feels good and then the next day he's not good. And so oh. iffy, but he did want to work today. He sounded awful, but told me he was okay. So. Okay, so I, I'm glad for that. He said he sees GI at the end of the month and hopefully they'll have a plan. It's ridiculous so, how long it takes to yeah. see one. I've been there. I hope that things improve there. Um, mm. And I'm, I've got two more things. So I don't know who wants to go first. We're gonna, we need to talk about the window with Eve and we need to follow up on the gallery report card with Sarah. So who's gonna go first? Well, I just need to know, uh, make sure I know all the details before I jump into the window thing. Okay. Um, I, uh, I've had, I realized in the last week that I've had a lot of experiences at Oasis where I just didn't have all the information I, I needed to proceed. And uh, I don't like messing up and I don't like not being helpful. And I really don't like wasting time either. So uh, I thought um, I've got this, we've got this nice little crew now for however long there's a, we've had a lot of uh, interest and excitement. So make sure I know what I need to know as we launch. Okay, so you got the last- Natalie and, I, Natalie and I talked about fabric and I, I really wasn't clear if you actually mean what you said, what you actually said, which is that no textiles should be used in the window. Well, you can't even have a, a, a bow on a thing. Are you are you joking? Are you serious about that? What we're trying, or did to you do, mean you don't? Want to, what we are yeah. trying to do is keep it clean and clear and clear simple. Lines, simple. So if you put a product. We probably want to highlight the product, not hide it with a bow. We don't want well, to not hide it on the floor. Um, so that's that was the idea. That was the impression and the takeaway from our consultant who really helped us with, you know, renovating the gallery and getting it up to par. We're trying to appeal to an age group that is not us, an age group that are more minimalist and they like fresh and clear. So, so that's why the fabric went away. He said that we were really making a mistake with all that draping of fabric. So that went away. Um, Plus we got new floors. And they're beautiful. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, how does that square with what Barbara said just earlier now, just today about um, the, win the window should be fun and attracting attention. And how does it square with these other windows, the people, the, the Christmas time window, you know? And well, how Christmas does it square with the fact that we have, can I just finish? How does it yes. square with the fact that we have so many small things to display and so many things that mustn't be in the window at all? It seems to me like you need to have some kind of um, scenery for lack of a better word and things to raise these small items or, or hang them on or else how do you do it? Was no textiles for the, for the window or for the gallery? Well, it's or really both, Erin. Okay. So decorating your display area with fabric, unless it's Etta and one of her pieces of fabric is a no-no. So what I wanted to tell you, I think you need to total, Eve, take, take Christmas out of the equation at all, because Christmas has always been a window decor thing that goes on downtown. So Christmas is going to be uh, 
can be doesn't even have to have items of of members because it basically the last three years two years it's been a contest downtown although this last year we didn't join it so what we tried to do when we decided that we weren't going to do we weren't we weren't going to put uh our our members things in the window we decided that about a year ago and uh, or more actually because the covid has gone but barb paul came up with this idea of the buckets and so the buckets were a fun and frivolous thing that we did from for like i don't know what five six months. months yeah yeah and then then it was like all of a sudden we were up against the COVID, and so I tried to come up with something different. So I did the silly windmills, which took me many, many hours, I might add. But nonetheless, it was just something to do with the the uh, COVID was in play, so they just hung there for a while. But we still got compliments on it, and we got compliments on the buckets. And then the next step was. Um, Oh, the, the heroes, the, the heroes window. Yes, the heroes, and we needed something for the heroes, and that's where the pipe people came along. So I get it. What we, I get it. But how do, how come we didn't observe the consultants' remarks in all that time? That's more than a year. We did. We didn't. You. We did because we didn't use fabric. There was no fabric at all th during that except time. Except dressing the people. Except dressing the people. And and also well, we I, I'm not I'm not debating it. I'm just amazed. And also we we were following on our window plans based on what had preceded. So it was a bit of a I'm going to say shock to feel like we're getting the message that we're going in the, the wrong direction. So I'm still not quite sure how we will well, manage let's, to. Let's take your current window. If we follow the guidelines. You mm -hmm. take away the green fabric completely. You take away those cute little bags because they're accessories. You take away the beads because they are uh, they don't add anything. Um, you take away on the back wall those, um, what do you call those things? Oh, they're big red paper things. Take away That's all kind of, of them. And you, you take away, take out a lot of the product that's in there and you highlight maybe four or five items. Right, but how will we deal with these very small items that we have to show people? Well, we're not saying that you can't, you can put, you can put a pedestal in the window and put a piece of pottery on the pedestal. That's not a problem. It's just so you don't direct, direct, and I'm not, I have no idea what you're doing and I've been to Oasis very little since I've been away and then sick, but you just don't drape that pedestal in fabric. It's si simple, tasteful, now I know this is a hard concept, simple, tasteful, frivolous, and fun. That's that is a hard concept. I don't. I don't see simple and frivolous and fun me meshing very well. But at least you're telling me, and we can work with that. And I will send. You, I'll send everybody on the board the ideas that we were working with so far, and I will amend them if I can. How think about of anything, this? If I have time, I'm sort of. How about this? Since I I used to do the window for quite a few years, why don't you just send it to me and you and I can talk and then when we, if, if that's okay with the board. And then, and I can tell you where my head is with all of that. And then we can talk about it and you and I can even meet and then, and Barb Paul or I don't even know who's on your committee anymore. But then, and then, um, we can just, we can go from there after you hear what I have to say and where my thoughts are about what we're planning to do. Because I have a few little different things than Barbara. Uh, Barbara does, but she has different, I'm talking Barb can, but she has some different ideas than I do too. So 
you know, that's, those are the four words I use. Fun, frivolous. I forgot what I used. <laughs> also, Sally, you reminded me the other day that you, there is a gob of stuff downstairs and you're the only yes. one who knows what's in the basement. So, um, yeah, maybe that's a good idea also that we meet Eve and I show you all of the stuff that has been purchased over the years for the window so that you don't go out and spend a lot of money if there's things that you can use for. And I know that because, you know, otherwise it's just not going to get used. So if there's something down there that you sort of like and you think you could incorporate in it, then that sounds good. You know, um, well, the only thing that sounds fine with me, um, the only thing is um, I had to do the last two at the drop of a hat. So, you know, I just I kind of attacked it the, as best I could. And I'm not in Harrisonburg, so I couldn't really check the basement first. And um, the other thing is that the next window is meant to be done on Monday. And I've just found out today that I'm back to work for hospice. So my grace period is over. I don't have as many free days as I did before. So um, well, I can I come really, in. On, um, I can come in on Monday. Do you want me to come in on Monday and we can talk then? What's the date on Monday? Well, we're gonna, the twenty second. Why does the window have to be done then? Because I can't make another trip. Oh, and we've I already, see. And we've, okay. And also because as part of trying to work, make things work efficiently for everyone, I announced that date a couple of weeks ago. Gotcha. But that's the day okay. I work. Got it. And so the other people have already planned to, you know, come in. Plus, it goes with what I'd said in the marketing committee about um, uh, planning to do the window um within about a week of the next first Friday. Mm, okay. So, um, yeah, so that we're, we're starting to call attention to the visual change in the place and then we can add to that whatever we're planning for first Friday. Well, so that makes sense, Eve. Sorry, I didn't realize that all those constraints, but no problem. Thank you for getting yeah. together that committee to, to help you. And that's, that's what I'm trying to contribute. I'm trying to contribute a little bit of um, structure. Uh, not that there hasn't been any, but just <laughs> since we've got um, some fresh blood and a new, and it's kind of a new reopening time anyway, isn't it? Yeah. That um, I thought I could just sort of coordinate a certain uh, cycle. You know, that would make um, it easy for everybody to contribute. What we're, what we're trying to convey is what we call the oasis look. And in the oasis look, we want to be clean, friendly, fun, and whatever that fourth word was. Fresh. Fresh. Yeah, Fresh. But, but you see, we, but look at the proportions of our window and the proportions of our items. I it's, just don't see... I, 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 I don't think we can be too rigid, rigid about it because we have a lot of space up there and up at the top of the window. And we are so lucky to have a window on Main Street like we do. Like and Sally so said, much we've got pedestals. And we can yeah. hang dramatic things from the, the ceiling. We can hang the Spotlight. fun things from the ceiling, making the ceiling hanging down fun. The and then thing. just three or four or five items, member items. And then I think so it, it's well, a look then I Lady think Jane. Three or four. I, think, I think that's too few items. I I but I think okay. that I people were feeling that there were too many items this time. But three, four, or five is too few. Sorry, Barbara. Okay. I'm back in off, but you know what I'm saying. No problem. I have a question for you. That back high piece of board back there, do you have any idea what we could put on there that could be permanent? Because it's high, you always see it. 
but it's hard to decorate. You know where I mean? Who are you asking? Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Are you asleep? <laughs> no, I just didn't know you were, you were talking to Eve before about, you know, doing the window yeah. stuff. I was, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, we could put, if you wanted words there, we could always put words there, but I don't know that people walking by, they have like seconds as they pass by to, that's one reason it doesn't, we want to keep it as simple as possible, like less is more type idea. Because um, if there's like, as you say, like maybe a dozen pieces where you know you can see maybe two or three of them as you walk by is all you're going to have time to focus on. So we just want them to, you know, really highlight and some somehow focus on them. I don't, I'm wondering if there's some way we can do some better lighting in there or some more, you know, more smaller spotlights or something to, to do that. But on that back wall, I'm not sure, should we paint it a different, well, a different color, would it? I don't think so. Think about what we might put there because if there was something permanent there, then that would be one long space that's taken care of. You know. All right. Yeah. So, Barbara, is there something? You, I'm sorry. Do you think that we have extra white pedestals available? Just the white square pedestals? Extra oh yes. Ones? Oh well, yes. I'm thinking, why couldn't we take white square pedestals, four or five, do a really whimsical maybe Gemma or someone could do some really whimsical flowers growing on poster board that could be Velcroed to maybe to the front of the um, pedestal for whimsy and color and shine and then just put a piece of art on top of each pedestal and call it done. And that would be spring. Yeah, that kind of that maybe kind of stuff works. A combination of both. But Barb, Paul, you're on. Are you with Eve on that committee? Yes. yes. No, not officially. Not a she's, she's no, she's an auxiliary volunteer. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, and and again, we've told you what the the guidelines are, so we don't want to be the people who tell you absolutely what you got to do and what you can't do. So you guys can discuss that. I mean, that's that idea sounds nice. Um, back there on that top part of the wall. You know, you're talking about above your stuff, Barbara, from the inside yeah. out. Yeah. Is it possible? Is it possible that we could put a ever changing featured show of the month? Meaning it said, you know, it says featured show of the month, and then we put what it is. Is that you know, in words? So like yeah, in words. this month it would say featured show by Hero Badre. Uh-huh. Like a marquee. I think that's yeah. a good I idea. It's confusing because it's not what's in the window. Well, I see, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. But what you about just saying curves? I didn't see our mezzanine show or this month's show without saying who it is. You could, you could do it in that tiny curved window when you enter. Yeah, yeah you know, we used to kind of do that. We did. away from that. Yeah. So I'm to not me, a fan. It gave the featured artist that curved window, what, you know, the one on the right-hand side as you go in the yeah. You know, on the and left you know, hand um, side. As far as like the, the window in general, um, you know, when we did those paint buckets with the paint spilling and it was really kind of simple but dramatic at the same time. You can also color block sections behind your pedestals too with like a color block, um, almost like a poster board, but you can set it up in such a way it doesn't really look like that. And that um, if you have like a, you know, certain colors for spring or something like that, it fills a lot of space, um, but doesn't create visual clutter. So I don't understand quite what you're saying here. Saying like taking big just pieces of like plywood and paint them a solid color and use that as a block 
kind of a, a background for areas that would that would give it a darker where because you see things but then you see it and there's all that background that the clutter kind of behind it even if there's nothing there there's the but if you had like if you had like solid color behind it that we kind of isolate that from all the background that that would be a way to just highlight piece especially the smaller pieces on the pedestals and they reflect well with good lighting um you know i mean it's just it's, it's i mean just kind of like a backdrop in essence but a small one um and, and it can each individual and if they're small. The colors of those could change with the seasons, you know. The, mm -hmm. um, kind of like the hand sort of. Yeah, <laughs> we could do it on uh, foam core. So we yeah. could have a. Yeah, yeah, you can. They even make it, you can, I mean, some, because nobody has to know what's behind it. That's You're not going to see what's behind it. It can even be like some of like the, you know, uh, science project boards. They come in vivid yellows, greens, blues, reds, and they're ready to go and nobody has to know that's what they are. Right. right. Uh, they, they even make backdrop paper that's very nice. It doesn't, it doesn't look like probably the way I'm describing it, but it, it really is a visual set off and um, with no clutter. So um, also one thing that you didn't know when you guys were starting to do the window and I've made this list out and I'm bringing it tomorrow um, yeah. And I've shared it with Eve that there are so many people who don't want their stuff in the window. I mean, I think that every single one of us would be surprised at how many people said no to having their things in the window. So that yeah. does limit your choices of things to put in the window, Eve, for sure. So anyway. that's sort of, I think, one reason we got away from putting items in the window in the first place was because of the sun exposure and the size of product and that type of thing. Um, right, and there were only six people who said yes, <laughs> something like that, yeah. Wow. But one of the things I was thinking for up above, Barbara, and I'm not a huge fan, but you know, words are so popular now as a decorating theme. Why don't we use some of the words people have used to describe Oasis? Well, that's a good you know, idea. Yeah. One of a kind, you, you know, we can put and quotes for people that they've used, you know, to describe Oasis and just put them up in big, bold words and they could be changed out every three months or so. What a good idea. Like, like word bubbles. Yeah, like, I love word bubbles. Like, like pop art word bubbles. Yeah. Oh, word bubbles. I was just thinking more of just, uh, uh, just the word. But we could make a word bubble and then have it blown up at FedEx. You know, not the, that one long thing, but then that wall, there's, there's that corner wall area, which defeats a lot of people. They end up hanging my, my stuff there. I don't mind, I usually sell it when it's there, but to be fair to everyone else, maybe we should, you know, I love word bubbles, so, but maybe they're too busy. I don't know, you guys. Well, I, yeah, I don't know if that would play well for like an entire 12 months. I think that might get a little. Oh, yeah, definitely not permanent. The charm, bubbles, the charm would wear off. But I don't know. We can try. But yeah. Welcome back. So. Whatever. Okay, so enough of us telling you how to do the window. <laughs> teasing. I'm teasing. Yeah, and, and, and also not enough, but we will, you and I can talk. Yeah, let's you and I talk. And thank and I'm disappointed you. that I, I'm disappointed that I presented the ideas to several board members in the marketing committee, and I didn't hear any of this. So um, that's why I'm being super careful. And also, I must tell you that I am a person that can be a little thick at times, and sometimes I, it takes me a while to learn or to grasp what's been said. But I've made some notes and we can talk on Monday and we'll figure it out. Thank you okay. Eve, for taking this on. It's a very hard to yeah. describe these abstract ideas. So appreciate you. And I'm sure when you work with Sally, it'll become a little bit clearer, but thank you for I, being with us. I this. think the ideas are still needing development anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you, Eve, and thank you, Sally, for stepping in to help out there. Sure. And so, um, last but not least here, I have the um, bit about the gallery report card display committee. Sarah and Ellen went through and um, looked over our displays and have some new recommendations. So do you want to touch on that, Sarah? Uh, well, he, uh, Ellen took uh, pretty good notes. We went around and looked at everybody's uh, individual displays and, and uh, made some recommendations and she is going to get individually with people um, and just you know talk on one one with them. Um, there wasn't too too much uh, <laughs> bad going on, you know. There just uh, some suggestions to help people with with making things look better. Um, we were trying to uh, we we were I emailed uh, a few of the board members just to. Uh, preliminary report on it and then they're sending back a few suggestions on things I forgot like putting make sure you know the labeling is uh, in identical or he's under for standards so uh, we're still working on that because Ellen said that she wanted to maybe work on maybe using a different type of paper or something something that wasn't just the white uh, plain white paper, if we could get something that had uh, a, a better feel to it. Eve, you're a good paper person. Um, maybe you would have some suggestions for her, something that would look a little more refined than just plain white cardstock um, and not something just yellow cardstock we used to use, but it wasn't any better than white cardstock. Um, so she's thinking of maybe some kind of border or something where we could work out that that it would be printed with the or just along with it. So so she's working on some ideas of that. So for now, we're just going with the standards we have right now for the the labels. I noticed uh, we noticed that some people weren't using cardstock and just were printing them on regular paper, and they start to furl fairly quickly. Uh, so we need to cut back on that, make sure everybody puts the right paper in the printer before they print, um, which is just a, a simple thing. And uh, mainly just sticking to the standards that uh, we have about keeping the gallery clean and uh, clean looking and not having things obstructing views. So, we're going to be sending out a whole new list, new report and uh, standards, uh, display standards that everybody will get a copy of and we'll put in the, in the uh, procedures manual. So that, I think that will get everybody better on the same page. And, you know, on the whole people were doing pretty well. I think uh, we didn't have any major complaints that I that I remember. Um, a few things like with Kathy wrote letters. I, I mean, she has everything printed out, but um, all the sizes is up, stuff taped to the edge of the the uh, glass looks a little, you know, iffy. So we're wondering about if we can find some way we can have like little card holders or something. Uh, like that, that would be consistent. Um, I don't know whether a, a woodworker or a piece of plastic or something that we could uh, use to, to hold those so things weren't just taped down because um, that doesn't look as, as elegant as you know something in a little holder or, or something. Um, but uh, that's pretty much, I think, what uh, People will get individual uh, calls once Ellen gets back in town from, from her trip and uh, she'll start uh, talking to people individually. And most, as I say, most of it was just little nitpicky things that uh, we might have found uh, to help people with their displays and maybe to make suggestions on, you know, type of work, uh, not putting too much out. 
having more empty you know space around things the clutter um, cut back on clutter uh, we want to take that uh, white shelf that's up in the office and actually have boxes or trays, people that have extra inventory that want to leave it up there. So there's a designated spot for extra inventory. Um, so if you have more work than you have room for right now, you can have it there. And as people sell it, uh, we can have all the people that have that extra inventory or you know to go up and you can replace that piece. And people don't have to wait until they come and work at the gallery again to have an empty space in their display until you know they happen to come back in the gallery to fill it again. So I guess that's about all I can think of right now. Well, thank you for that. Thank you and Ellen for taking the time to go through and look at all our displays and help us make it better. Now, you, yes. sh you shared with me something when you had the Water Street window with your display. Can you share with others? I, to me, I love the window you did, but. So, Eve, when we were talking about your window with all of the fancy, you know, the, the paper products and how there was so much stuff in the window, I, I told Barbara, when I did the window, the Water Street window with the Fordite, I went through a lot of trouble. I brought an actual fire truck bumper, <laughs> some cool. other large pieces of paint and large items to call attention to that window. And I had a huge inventory in there. I never sold a single piece out of that window. People stopped out there when I was there, people would stop and remark and talk about it and just wow over it. When I met people at the farmer's market, they said, oh, that's your window. Oh, it's such a great window. But not one piece sold out of that great window. After I took the window down and moved some of those pieces into my display at Oasis, they sold like hotcakes. And what month was that, Natalie? I think it was July. I'm pretty sure it was a July. Um, I remember that window. It was pretty cool. It, it was, was wasn't it? <laughs> the window was so great that people were just wowing over the window. Nothing sold. Although it was definitely a conversation starter. And right. I, I do think it's part of, I mean, I understand, I totally get your point, but I do think they were like, oh, I remember seeing, like, even when they're buying it now, they still have to kind of remember that window a little bit. That's, and that's my thinking on the window. It's part of, it plays a certain role. Um, like our advertising doesn't sell specific things necessarily, but it plays a role in the whole promotion and existence of the gallery. Yes, that's so. So, um, you know, they those all have to be balanced. I wanted to speak up at the last marketing meeting when I heard three times in the one meeting, but what really counts is we got to get people in the door. Well, I think if we keep saying that, we're not gonna get the increase in sales we wanna see. And we do wanna get people in the door, but there's also more to it and it's part of the whole. So there's um, the clean look in the gallery and the attractive things for sale and the communication of what's for sale, but there's also um, establishing an image and an identity and giving people information and giving them and catching their eye in the first place. So that's what I'm thinking a window does. They see that and we're so lucky. Like I've never, I only went into, because of my hours at um, Oasis, I never get to shop at Lady Jane. And uh, I only went in there once when I talked to her about, um, very briefly, when I went to talk to her about um, uh, doing art and tea for us and sadly truncated by COVID isolation. But the shop is great, but she doesn't have a lovely window like we do. And her, I, in my opinion, her, the lettering on her sign does not do her any favors. It doesn't, it doesn't have, it doesn't portray the quality uh, and the, um, the mood of what's in there. 
So, you know, I don't know. She's, she's doing a wonderful job, I'm sure. She's still here. But I feel like um, our, the way we handle the window and the changes in the window is a kind of a gift to us and to all of Main Street. And it's not just about selling specific items. And we've got Water Street as well, which can feature, um, you know, one or more people. So that's all, I'm not, I'm not really arguing, I'm still trying to figure it out and get us all to think, to think broadly about how to make it work for us. Again, one other thing is, again, it's not a grocery store that people have to come in every week and get um, standard things. It's a place that, that needs to stay in people's minds for the special occasions or when they've got extra money. Or, there's a few people that can just, spend a lot of time coming in regularly and, and shopping and buying something. But I would think most of our customers, especially the younger ones, are, are gonna shop when they have a, they're looking for a gift. They need to, we need, they need to remember us for when that happens. That's it. <laughs> yep. Well said, Eve. Okay, anybody have anything else that we need to add? I don't think so. Well, oh, Eve, I'm you're really talking, but you're not saying anything. There you are. Oh, wait, I want to say, Etta, we're going oh. to see you in the gallery soon, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, I get my, sec my second shot on the 31st of this month. And then, you know. I think maybe by May. <laughs> I miss you. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, I didn't say anything because there was a lot of conversation and I just listened. But, you know, it's a lot of energy just moving around. And I think that's a good thing. And, and I don't, you know, when you, just a quick thing, but when you say about fun, you know, I mean, we are, here we are with seven different people and I bet you everybody sees fun in a different way. So I don't know if we can describe a window should have fun. I don't, I don't think that's a good word for a window because we have a different definition, you know. For one person, it's maybe just a little color. For another person, it's funny figures or whatever, or cloth, <laughs> you know, I don't know. That's just what I think about windows. I and just think windows need something big that when you drive by or walk by, you don't necessarily stand and look at each item. You look at the window and it should just say, come in, you know, and that's it. If it's buckets, you know, or just, I think um, the paintings of, um, what is her name? The bright paintings, what she Gemma. had. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. Gemma, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I think they are just they're eye catching. I mean, just, I don't know. I know it takes a lot of um, thought, but just something eye-catching. Yeah. And also the window changes month to month. So that I, I, I like the way you put it. And so it does need to be something big. And everybody isn't just flashing by. Some people are staying at the light for quite a while. You know, uh, it doesn't need to, to change at. once a month. We, it, it, that's just a self-imposed thing. It could be a two-month window. I well sure, but I think that's a huge advantage if you can if you can change it every month uh, or or even you know or rolling as um, Natalie once said, so that it it stays much the same, but elements change because again, there's a lot of the same people walk by every day or once a week, and we should give them something to write home about. Because we got a window. Yeah. Not everybody else does. <laughs> yeah. It's good for downtown. It's a it is, it could be a destination. It's mm -hmm. gonna work out. I know it's gonna work it out. Will. Of is. course, of course. I'm just being excited. I'm just being enthusiastic. Good. Are you having fun? <laughs> well, I <will>. <laughs> <laughs> She got you, Anna. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. <laughs> I never say it. I, I, 
see not one word zip. <laughs> no, I'm glad you talked. Oh, well, you know, sometimes it's really fun to listen to everybody because then you say, huh, you know, it's kind of cool. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the day to be working again. So I only go in the mornings when nobody's there and I look at people's stuff and things and work on my stuff a little bit and get some money and go, go home. Make it a party. Well, we're money and run, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to coming back. That's for sure. Oh, thank you. I'm looking forward to it too, but thank you very much. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a good place to be. But I'm working... Um, you know, I have the show by myself in September, no, October. So I work very hard to make stuff and learn, make different things that's not the same, but I have already out there. I mean, there will be quite a bit the same kind, but I'm working really hard to find something, you know, exciting to make for the show. So I'm really busy. I'm well, busy. I sold one of your bags when I worked the other day. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I, I think one, you I need to make different. wearables, wearables, Edda. Yeah, I'm working. I made a, I made a kind of a shawl poncho and uh, I didn't like it when it, it was so much work and I didn't like it. I cut it up. Ah! Yeah, yeah I didn't I like can, it. It I didn't, you know, it wasn't, the... I had such, oh, I had such, you know, like you visualize something and you say, this is what it's going to look like. And that, what the heck, what happened? Well, this is my hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, very nice. <laughs> you know, I, I had a lady, Barbara, you remember the, I, real quick, I know it's late, but the, the guy last March, he did an interview with you from the, yes. okay, and the guy bought a hat for his mother. Right. Well, she called me just a month ago and said it didn't fit because it was for Christmas. <laughs> And she said, what, blah, 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 what can I do? I said, oh, well, you know, I said, write your check, just bring the head back and I'll give you a check and we're done. Well, she actually got her, <clears throat> she brought the head and got the check, but she bought another head. For my <laughs> so, and she was so happy. I mean, you see, sometimes just, you know, not make a big deal out of it. Just, and it worked out very nice. I'm glad I did it this way. So it's just a little. But That's a that's a good lesson for us. That that really is. We want to think of that as the oasis way. You know, making well, because sometimes we I get so oh you know I'm going to make it bigger I and mean, smaller or whatever she wanted and no I'm not. It's the head is done and if you don't care for it I don't want you to be unhappy. So here's your money. You know and it worked out very well. So I was very happy <laughs> and good she job. was happy. Yeah, she said, she called, she wrote me an email and she said, oh, and I found an Edda head. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. See, I can talk. <laughs> I better can shut up talk. so we all can go home. <laughs> we, are. we are home. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, away from the screen. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, Barbara Anything Paul, I'm very glad you're there. <laughs> Thank you, Edda. Yeah. Okay. And, All right. Well, um, that's it. Thanks everybody right. for coming. Thank you for your time. And Sally will get the minutes out. Well, yes. yes. <laughs> All right, um, let me just say something about the minutes, then you can say something. When I send those minutes out, you better tell me you got them. Read them. <laughs> Read them. Or you're going to be on my list. <laughs> All right. Sorry. What do you <laughs> <laughs> Nobody on this screen is on your list. <laughs> Eve, I'm sorry. Eve? I think Eve? She's she frozen. Her screen's frozen, Sal. Oh, there. There's We're waiting. I think her screen is busted. For us. Yeah, let's well, say good night. You can email each other. Well, okay. I know, but I'm sorry that I interrupted uh, her. Actually, nobody. Oh, there she is. Nobody told me. Is, is this the regular time for the meeting? Regular time for the meeting? Yeah. Yeah, usually about an hour. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh. Guess what? 
Is this is always the third Monday? Yes. Yeah. Did we get time for the meeting? Yes. Yes, five. Good. Yeah. To know. Okay. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I'm going.